morning. Good morning. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. There's still some people coming, I assume, but I'm going to go ahead and get started, share my screen with you. Today's going to be the AP Physics Demo Day. So I'm going to show you what I would like you to do. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to put you guys in groups uh, just like before, but in those groups, you're going to individually, you're each going to go in and I'd like you to do the AP demo, even if you've done it in the past, because I want to make sure you can access the site. I want to verify that. And I also want you to practice kind of doing the split screen and kind of copying and pasting your answers in. Um, so first, let me go to calendar. <clears throat> and we scroll down to Tuesday. Um, so today we're going to be doing this uh, AP demo. It's it's very similar to what you'll see on the exam day, um, except you won't see a question. You're just going to practice kind of uploading your answer. Um, now, um, I know a lot of you guys are in calculus, and in calculus they are teaching you that you will write out on a piece of paper by hand and take a picture. And that is a perfectly good thing that you should be doing for calculus. You could even do it for physics. I highly recommend that you don't. Um, you need to understand that the College Board is telling different programs, different AP, different things to do. I personally wish that they would be telling us to take a picture and upload it because I would like that format better. Uh, but they have told us specifically, in fact, I can share it with you. I'm just reading it and lamenting it, the fact that it says, uh, I was just reading through here, um, that, um, oh, this is not the one I was going to show you. Sorry. Oh, come on. Um, it's probably going to take a second for me to get to it. But one of the people who is heavily involved in this, they are definitely recommending that students um, don't take a picture for this exam, that they actually do copy and paste. Um, so that's what I want you to practice. I don't really like it, but right here it is. This is one of the pr people that rate, write the exam. So typing, copying, and pasting is the simplest and most efficient method. And in fact, he goes on to say that graphical diagrams, that means like force diagrams, graphs, or written equations will not help you get a better score. I don't like that, but that's just the way it is. I've complained about it and that's just the way it is. So you need to kind of type your answer out in words, okay? And you just need to practice it. So let me go back to this website. So in calculus, they're teaching you to take a picture of it. Great, do that for calculus. For physics, you're gonna be doing it a little bit different. Okay, so also over here is a link to a, uh, <clears throat> kind of a, like a practice test. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I've made packets that you should go and get. Um, and anyway, once you get those packets, there's going to be problems in it. I would recommend that you watch this video, and it's going to kind of time you. And they, I think they actually give you a problem in the video. Actually time yourself doing it. Can you make sure you're muted? Somebody... So, um... One of the things I would like you to do is go into school and pick up a packet that I've made for you. So outside the <clears throat> front um, entrance, so door one, there is a box that says AP Physics Mechanics. And inside of that, you open it up, there is a blue packet. I would like you to grab that blue packet and take it home with you. It has one long response or one long question. And the first question you get on Monday is gonna be 25 minutes long uh, to compose it, and then five minutes to upload it or to 
uh, copy and paste it. So if you're doing a copy and paste method, you could actually probably keep on working to 28, 29 minutes and then copy and paste because it doesn't take very long. Um, so there's one practice problem in there for that. There's one short one, that's the shorter ones where it's only like 20 minutes to type it up and then five minutes to upload it. So it's gonna be 15 minutes to type it and five minutes to upload it, so it's 20 minutes. And then there's one more long one if you'd like to practice. So there's three problems, practice problems. I've also composed myself some sample answers. So you can see, well, how in the heck do you type up an answer? And you can kind of see how it is. The truth is, even though we have not practiced that skill of writing out by hand uh, the solution, um, which makes me a little bit nervous, whenever we do whiteboarding, and I ask you to explain things and I ask you to defend your answers or to think about sources of uncertainty, you verbally tell me. So if you could just take that skill and put it into words, I think you'd be fine. One thing about writing out your answers or typing out your answers, try to um, make sure you have, well, I don't know if it's the word is necessarily good grammar, but make sure you make complete sentences uh, so that it makes sense. Also, be careful about uh, generic pr pronouns. And that's something that I have a problem with myself. Don't use the word it because when you're explaining something, the reader needs to understand what it is exactly you mean. So for instance, if you're looking at a problem where a dart is coming out of a gun, and you say something, and then it hits a block, and you have to figure out how far it moves, don't say it, um, because of conservation momentum, it will travel. You need to say exactly what are you talking about? Are you talking about the dart? Are you talking about the block? Are you talking about the combination, the system of the dart and block? Don't just say the word it. You know, be very specific in your speech when you're typing. Um, anyway, so if you can please go into school and get one of those packets. Oh, I forgot to say, also after my example answers are there, there's also the rubrics for each one of the problems so that when you're practicing yourself and you're writing out your answer, you can also grade your answer based on the rubric because maybe my answer isn't exactly the same answer as you have. That doesn't mean your answer's wrong. Um, at the back of the packet, there's one check AP exam day check sheet. Um, so some of you might have printed it out, but here's the next one at the end of the packet stapled together. And then also uh, stapled in the packet is the equation sheets. So what I would do when I got the packet is I'd very carefully from the backside remove the check sheet, that way it's all ready to go, um, and then remove the um, equation table from the back of it, that way it's all ready to go for Monday. Um, once you get one of those packets, could you please email me so that I know you got it and that way I won't have to hassle you about going in and pick it up. Also, when you're done um, getting one of the packets, please close the lids. That way stuff doesn't blow away so we can protect the environment. Okay. All right. Um, so um, this is what I want you to do here in a second. I want you to click on the, when I put you in your groups, I want you to click on the AP demo. And this is kind of what, uh, what's going on? They've changed it. Gosh darn it. Oh, right here, go to demo. Um, when you click on the demo, this is kind of what the test will look like. On uh, this coming Saturday, you'll get your AP exam e-ticket. And on Monday at um, 1130, you'll come here and you'll type in your You'll actually, you'll click on the exam e-ticket link in your email, and you'll come to the site, which will look like this, and you'll type in your APID. In this case, it's just the word practice. And then you'll go ahead and put in your information, and notice there's a little timer here. It says the exam starts in four minutes. I would like you to set up your page so it looks like a split screen. So notice what I'm doing here, because I noticed that some students don't know how to do a split screen. So I'm kind of ripping this tab off and I'm kind of pushing it up against the side over here. And then I'm going to come over to this one and I'm open, opening up a Google Doc. I recommend Google Docs. And the reason why I recommend Google Docs is that you want it to save often. Um, you can use Word document, but you need to kind of change things so it saves more often. So you have to go into the settings. Um, you actually need to make need to make two of these Google Docs. Uh, question one, 
And then question two at the top here, APID is what you're gonna be putting. And for now, since you don't have it yet, just uh, put eight X's or whatever. Also at the top, you'll put your initials. Okay, and then you'll answer the question. All right, so let me split screen this. And so now I'm ready. As soon as it ticks down past uh, three minutes, it'll start the exam for me. So what I wanna do is kind of um, make those breakout rooms. So I think there's still some people I need to put together. Commissioner Lynn Fussy, quick questions. You said those packets were at the school? Yeah, they're in front of the door ones, right in front of the school. You don't even have to go inside. Just open the box up and, and pick up one of those packets, okay? Yeah, it should be super easy, super easy. I would like you to send me an email afterwards. That way I don't have to hassle you to go and get, um, go get, some, get your packet, okay? So those questions are different than the one that the AP have posted online for their practice. Research. Okay, so here's the, here's the reason. They actually are the same ones. Oh, but, they are. Yes, they are the same ones. But I don't know if you guys have access to the scoring guidelines or not. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't like that site at all. I don't think it's very helpful. I think it's clunky. It's hard to find stuff. And so I made them because I was afraid that students couldn't find stuff. And so, um, and that's why I made it. Plus you're gonna have your equation table, you have your AP checklist, and I made some example answers. Even if you have the scoring uh, guidelines, you don't have the example answers. And so um, I thought that might be helpful too, okay? okay. All right, so I have the breakout rooms made made up. The only reason I have the breakout rooms made up, you're not working together. I just want you to get on your own. Maybe you can help one another. That's fine. But what I'm going to be doing here, if you're wondering what's going on, I'm going to be going to each room and I'm going to make each person share their desktop with me because I want to make sure that you can access the site and you know how to do a split screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you. So Caleb, you should have got an invitation to go to room two. Ali, you should have got an invitation to go to room one. Ali, you should have got an invitation. There you go, room one. Uh, I didn't you, get anything. Okay, uh, go down and there's down to breakout rooms. You could put yourself in room one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Annie, can you share your desktop with me? Because I want to make sure you can ask, access the uh, demo site. So the green share at the bottom, there you go. Okay. All right. So. Wait a second, I didn't see the Annie. Can you go ahead and do that again? Because I didn't see you get in. Oh, well, now I hit, can't zip. Can you hit refresh then at the top? Although on the exam day, you should not be hitting refresh. Right. Okay, good. So I know that you can get in there now. Uh, do you know how to do a split screen? Yeah. Can you show me that real quick? Because that's what I'm recommending because you need to be able to see the time and you need to be able to kind of type on one side too. I want to see you do that, please. It's not letting me right now just because I'm sharing. So it's kind of oh, hard to get this. Okay. Get so you're say, you're oh, saying, yes. okay, so you do know how to do it though, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, uh, Ali, can you go ahead and share your desktop with me then? Okay, good. And you also know how to do the split screen thing? Yeah. 
Okay, all right, so I'm gonna take off and go to a different room. Okay, okay so uh, John, can you share your desktop with me? Go at the very bottom, hit share screen, and then a pop-up will come up and hit in the lower right, the blue button that says share, because I need to verify that you can access the computer program. Okay, yep, that's it. And all right, so if you wanna use a Word document, that's fine. Um, do you know how to change the settings so that it saves more often? John, uh, John can you unmute yourself? Uh, there you go. You, yeah, you do know how to do it. Okay, that's all I need to see then, that's good. And then Caleb, can you share your desktop then so I can um, see that you can access the site too? Uh, the green, there you go. Okay. Yeah. You're seeing both of them? Yeah, yeah. So I can see the one, the most important one is the test site. I see that you got on there, no problem. And I can't see if it's split screen, but you can just tell me, do you know how to do a split screen? Yeah. Okay, good. That's all I need to see. Then I'm going to go check out another room. Then. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, Dan, can you share your screen with me? At the very bottom, click the green share, and then the pop-up. Yeah. Okay. okay. So here's my document on my right, oh, and no, my that, left is the test. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's all I needed to see. Thank you very much. Any questions for me before I leave? Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, Adam, can you share yours now with me? Oh, share screen. And then the blue share screen button. In the pop, in the lower right after you click the green. There you go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And then, um, see, that's not exactly a split screen. Do you know how to make it split screen? No. Okay. So go up to your Word document in the upper right. That tab. Go a little bit high. Yeah. Right. Uh, kind of click right up there, right where you're at, and then drag over to the right. Drag over to the right until it touches the right margin of your computer screen. There you go. And, oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, and then pull it down. Oh, gosh. Okay, so go back up to where you were. And the problem is you went up to the corner. Don't go to the corner. Go over to the middle of the right-hand side of the screen. So click and then drag to the right. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so put your cursor right at the middle of the screen at the top. Okay, click on that and then drag it over to the right. Don't go to the right of the corner. I don't know what you mean. Okay, all right. So I'm going to start sharing. You got to do exactly what I show you. Okay, so you got to watch. Okay. All right, so, so let's say this is what my screen looks like. So can you, share, can you see my whole screen or not? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a Google Doc here. And I've got the, the test here, and I don't want to be clicking back and forth because you're going to miss the time. That will not work, okay? So I want you to watch. Can you see that I'm up here on the tab? Mm hmm Okay, so I'm clicking on it. I'm ripping it off, and I'm bringing it over here to this right-hand side. Do you see that? Yeah. And then I let go as soon as it touches that side. Okay. And then I select the test and it automatically fills the space. So I'm gonna stop sharing. I want you to share. I want you to show me that you can do that. <laughs> so go up there and grab that tab, that document. There you go. And pull that over to the right or to the left, wherever we're gonna pull it to. Right here. What the? Okay. So go ahead and, and just let go then, see what happens. Or No, okay, so try to get... Adam, How it's because about... you're grabbing the white. You gotta grab like the grayish part of it, of the tab, you know what I mean? And then when you pull it over, just aim for like the middle of um, the length of... The... There you go. There, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yay. Nice. That way, the reason why, Adam, that's so important, you probably should practice a couple more times, is because now you can see the timer on the left hand side and you can see what you're typing not only can you see the timer you're going to be able to see the question and on the right hand side you could type okay awesome 
Okay, now I also want you to kind of practice typing something. At the bottom, do you see how it says paste? So then you'll click that paste and or paste it in or whatever it says, and then you'll go ahead and paste it into the text box. Just play around a little bit. I want you to be familiar with it. That way Monday it won't be new to you. Okay, so I'm, right. gonna go, I'm gonna go to a different room now. Okay, so Malia, can you share your desktop with me, your screen with me? Uh, yes. I want to verify that everybody can access the website. Okay. Okay, looks good. And so, do you have it as a okay. split? Do you have it as a split screen? Because I can't tell. Do you know how to do split screen? Malia, can you hear me? Yes. I, uh, yes, I can. From my view, it doesn't look like a split screen. Is it a split screen for you? No, uh, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, so do you see how you just clicked on the tab up there? Go back up to that. Yeah. Oh, did you pull it over to the right? I just pulled it away. Yeah. Okay, so you made a split screen right now. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell, but if you know how to do it, you're good. Okay. Yeah, do you see where? Split screen. Yeah. Do you see down at the bottom? It says paste response. I want you to practice typing over there in your Word document. And then try pasting it in. You need to practice a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. And Emily, can you go ahead and share your screen now? Yep. Okay, yeah, perfect. That's exactly it. And then, Emily, I, will, I want you to practice. So go ahead. And you can just type whatever, you know, gobbledygook there on your Word document. And then click mm -hmm. the paste response and then click on that and you'll see there's a little box that comes up that you can paste into. So I want you to play a little bit so you feel comfortable on Monday that you know how to. I don't want you to spend your time doing this on Monday. I want you to go, oh, I know how to do this. That way you can worry about the physics stuff. All right, I'm going to go to a different group. It looks like you guys know what you're doing pretty good. So let's see. Okay, uh, Kyler, can you share your screen with me, please? I want to make sure you can access the site. Okay, good, nice. Yeah, it's exactly. And have you tried to copy and paste it in there so you can see how that works? Okay, good. Okay, all right, yeah, just keep on playing around with it. So, uh, Luke, can you share your screen now with me, please? Yeah, I'll end share screen. Luke, are you there? Luke? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so it's hard for me to tell Luke. Uh, you need to unmute yourself. Because I can't see that it's a split screen, because I think that the way you're sharing it with me, is it a, do you know how to do a split screen? Luke, you have to unmute yourself. Yes. Can okay. you hear me now? Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. So you're all good with it. You know how to do a split screen, no problem. Yes. Okay, so practice doing the uh, typing into your Word document and pasting in that text box so you can feel pretty comfortable that you know what you're doing, okay? And I'm gonna yeah. join another group. Okay, thank All you. Right. Okay, uh, Jaden, can you please share your screen with me so I can see that you can, in fact, access the, the demo site, please. Yep. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, I had this filled in, but then it must have timed out when I okay. didn't. Okay. That's all right. Just let, yeah, log back in again so I can. All right. Cool. And uh, yeah, it looks to me like you you know how to do both of them, split screen and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I think I would just recommend just keep on playing, uh, you know, type some gobbledygook and go ahead and paste it in. So that way, you know, you feel pretty comfortable with it. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, on Saturday after your ID, go ahead and make two Word documents, Google documents, I should say, somewhere that you know where they are, really easy to access with your ID at the top and stuff. That way you're all ready to go. Okay, all and right. then Luke, can you share your screen now with me, Luke? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, Luke, can, do you know how to do <laughs> split? I can see the test, which is good. I'm good with the test, but do you know how to do a split screen thing? Yeah. Okay, can, um, can you open up a Word doc or a Google Doc? So go up to the top and do, yeah, either Word Doc. Right, or, okay. um, 
whatever you're comfortable with, Google Doc or Word Doc, it doesn't matter. It's just the stuff's covering it. Hold on. Okay, and then can you show me a split screen with this Google Doc on one side and your test on the other? Perfect. Okay. And right. okay, so um I'm recommending that you go use Google Doc because then um, you'll be able to copy and paste and put it in a lot better. And I know you're looking at the pictures, and I have to tell you, I almost thought I I'm such a geek. I have there's a Facebook, believe it or not, there's a Facebook AP teacher website, and um, you know I'm I'm physics all the time, right? That's I can't get physics off my brain, and so I'm kind of complaining of about the fact that it's all text. You, you need to understand, I'm not happy that people were being told to tell you guys that you need to type your answer in. I would much rather that it was like um, calculus that you could draw it by hand and then take a picture of it because that's kind of what we've been doing all year. Oh, um, it's so nice. Right, yeah, well, I've been complaining. I complained so much about it that um, I thought they were gonna kick me out of the AP uh, Facebook page. Um, <laughs> Just because I don't think it's fair to you guys, I think you can do it. Don't don't go getting worried or anything. I think you can do it because, I mean, think about all the time you're in your whiteboarding group. You're explaining to your partner and you're discussing and you're arguing and stuff. It's just we never practice having you take those arguments and those discussions and put them in words. So if you can do that, you'll be fine typing. Um, I, I just wish we would have been, I just wish we would have been known from day one that's what was going to happen and we could have practiced it. Um, so the reason why I'm telling you this, Luke, is while I wish that it would be a great thing that you could take a picture, I really don't recommend it. In fact, I think it's going to hurt you for two reasons. First of all, it's going to slow you down. Second of all, the quality of the picture and how long it's going to take you uh, to write nice writing that people can read is going to slow you down even more and my guess is that you want to do force diagrams which i agree with but they're not even going to look at your force diagrams they're only going to look at words like if they say explain and you draw a force diagram and and i probably would have accepted in class i mean um your force diagram shows it's unbalanced and therefore it's accelerating so that makes sense to me but if they want it you to say it's the force in words, the forces are unbalanced and therefore it's going to accelerate. You better do it in words or they're not gonna grade it. And so I'm just telling you that cause I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, Luke? All uh, right, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out another uh, group here real quick. Uh, okay, Jack, uh, could you share your screen with me? Cause I need to verify that everybody can access the site. So there's a green sheet, there you go, okay. Oh, I can't see it. All right, um, Do you, um, can you go ahead and put the word practice, uh, wait a second, go back to that one. Can you go ahead and put the word practice in? I wanna make sure you can access it. Okay, that's good, that's all I needed to see. And But actually there is one more thing. Jack, um, do you know how to do split screen? If so, can you please go ahead and do that for me? Because I wanna see that you know how to do that. There you okay, good. That's all I need to see because that's what I'm going to recommend that you do. That way you can see the timer on one side and you can type on the other side. So keep on playing. I want you to practice what it's like to put your answer in, copy and paste, okay? Uh, Antonio, okay. can you can you please share your screen with me? All right, that's exactly what I need to see. And then Antonio, why don't you go ahead and do that practice where you're copying and pasting it. And at the bottom of the left-hand side, you'll see where it says something like uh, paste or something. If you click that, a little text box will come up and you can paste it in there. Okay, good. Just kind of play around with it a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm going to check out a different room then real quick. Okay, Henry, can you please share your screen with me? I wanna make verify that everybody can access the site. Okay, cool, and, and then you got it split screen, perfect. Uh, that's all I really need to see. I do want you to practice, you know, type some gobbledygook in and then practice kind of copying and pasting, that way you understand how it works. 
but that's all I need okay. to see. Brandon, can you share your screen with me? I want to, again, verify everybody can access the website. Brandon, if you could share your screen. There's a green share at the bottom. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, Brandon, I can't really see the split screen, uh, but that's okay. Can you unmute yourself for a second? Do you know how to do split screen? Unmute. There you go. Yeah, I got it going. Okay, good. That's all I need to check. Why don't you keep on practicing? I want you to... Practice copying and pasting. I need to check out a different room. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Ooh, okay. man, there really are some. Hey. Brant, Brant, can you share yes. your screen with me? Please share your screen. I need to verify yes. that everybody can access the website. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. At the bottom, there's a There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah. On the right hand, no, okay, you got the Word document there, great. Um, that's that's all I need to yeah. see, so just kind of practice around a little bit. So, awesome. Uh, Krishna, can you go ahead and share your awesome. screen with me? Appreciate it, please. Yep. Uh, so, Krishna, I can't tell that it's, um, I can't tell that it's a split screen. Do you, you could just verbally tell me, do you know how to do split screen? Yeah, I do. Okay. And uh, it looks like the exam's already done. <laughs> were, were you able to pick, copy and paste into it? Yep. Okay. All right. That's all I need to verify with you. And I'm going to check some other groups out. Thank you very much. Okay. So Ethan, can you please share your screen with me? I need to verify that everybody can access the test. Okay, uh, good. That's that's kind of all I need to check out. Um, now that that's not exactly set up as a split screen, but I think it was close enough. So, uh, John, can you share your screen with me? Yeah, I don't have mine on a split screen anymore, uh, but, just because I already finished it. But but you know how to do split screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay, first thing I want to do is I want to take a picture for attendance. Mostly what this is for is for the people who are not here, I need to hassle them to make sure they know how to access the site and make sure it's working for them. So if you could please kind of turn your camera on for a second, that would help me just for a second. Thank you. So one, two, three, here it comes. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so uh, let me share my screen with you. And let me go back to, oops, where's it at? Ah, there it is. Okay, so let me go back to the calendar. So the truth is um, we've already been going for 35 minutes, so we're not gonna do worksheet two, three today. Um, um, we will have kind of an impulse momentum test. It's not gonna be 100 points, not even gonna be 50 points. And you'll be able to do it multiple times if you want to. Uh, if you were okay, like last Thursday when we had that, um, like that attendance quiz, and I didn't really teach anything on that day because it's kind of wasted with a, a PowerPoint, then you should be fine on this, no problem. But on Thursday, um, we're actually going to whiteboard worksheet two and three first and then after class you can do that momentum test anytime you want to all the way up to midnight and you can do it over and over again if you'd like um just want to remind you one more time that um there's this 
uh, practice that you can do. I think this one is similar to what you would see, what we just did, the AP demo, but at the same time, it actually gives you a real physics problem and gives you a timer. I encourage you to do something like that because anybody who's taken an AP test before, it's, it's you know, you start to feel that in your stomach, you know, the, the adrenaline rush of the timers ticking down and stuff. So you need that practice. Um, so I would do that. Also, don't forget, just one more time, that um, you need to go into school, go to door one. You don't have to go inside. It's outside of the building. It's right there in the front where the American flag is there. Open up the box there and get one of the blue packets out. Take that with you. It has everything you need to start practicing a little bit. Um, need to find my sheet again. Ah, here we go. Um, and on Thursday, then we will whiteboard worksheet two and three, and then afterwards, like I said, you'll have that test. So, is there anything else I wanted to say? Um, does anybody have any questions? No, I don't think so. Just test on Thursday after the Zoom. Yeah. Um, study for the AP test, and that's about it, right? Right, right. And I do want to clarify because Mr. <laughs> Mr. Shramick did uh, contact me because some of his students were saying that they're hearing diff different things between physics and calculus. That's because the college board is telling us different things. So he's telling you the right thing and I'm telling you the right thing, but it's for two different tests. So please don't get it mixed up. For me, you really don't want to take a picture of stuff. It's, it's almost like the same thing of you don't want to go on the internet. It's going to be a huge time suck for physics, unfortunately. Uh, because they're not going to look at any pictures you have. No graphs. They're not going to look at force diagrams. If you don't put it in words, typed out, they're not going to look at it. I'm sorry. I wish it wasn't true. For instance, if you go get my packet today, uh, please do get my packet today, you'll notice that every one of them says explain. And so you have to put it in words. So I'm sorry we haven't prepared for that. But think about all the times we've done uh, whiteboarding. I always ask you to kind of explain, you know, what's the meaning of the slope? What's the meaning of the y-intercept? That kind of stuff. All right, just put it in type words. It's the same type of stuff. But in, in calculus, you do want to take a picture. I do want to say one thing, though, because I was having a conversation that this is a, this concerns uh, calculus. This is not physics. Um, so I think Mr. Shramick, when he was telling me, we uh, did a Zoom, he said he's telling his students to take a picture like this and then just upload it. Don't worry about rotating it, and they'll just worry about it there. I'm going to tell you, and he might have changed that um, because of the conversation him and I had. I contacted uh, the college board. Like I said, um, I was asking about taking pictures. And even though they said, don't do it for physics, they said, if you do it for calculus, you better make sure that you rotate it and save it like this. And honestly, guys, it doesn't take that long to take a picture like this and rotate it like this, save that, and then upload that. It only takes like an extra second or two. So I'm, that's my help for you for calculus. Make sure you rotate it before you uh, save it and then upload it. Any questions about that? Okay, so, so you're Cal, they do want us to take pictures? Yeah, yeah. I, I would, are they changing that in calculus? Because when I talked to Mr. Shramick, he said, yeah, he's telling the students to take pictures. Yeah, we're supposed to take pictures because we're supposed to be able to show all of our work. Bowman Ashby has us take our pictures on our phones and then like save it through the Google Drive. Cause like my Google Drive is hooked up to my phone. So I just take a picture, save it on there. And then I have it on my laptop. Yeah, oh, I just, I really do. okay. So I have a couple things to tell you because you, again, I do not recommend, this is everything I'm getting ready to say has nothing to do with physics. Don't do this for physics, no pictures for physics. Okay. But if you're in calculus taking pictures, there's a couple things I know that might help you. First of all, I recommend what Mr. Shramick told me, which was take a picture with your computer. Because if you use your phone to take a picture, unless you have some special app that automatic, automatically has it go to your computer, if you uh, take a picture with your phone and upload it, while true, the quality is better. It's clear. I agree with that. But the problem is that's one extra upload that you have to do because you upload it to your computer. Then you have to upload it to uh, the website. And that's going to take up time. That's one problem. The second problem is, and I don't know if your teachers know about this, so please tell your calculus teachers this. If you have an iPhone, which I know lots of students do, um, 
Yeah. Uh, have you talked about this? That you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So actually, the Google Drive app, like which I have for my school account, okay. you can go in there, and they actually have an option where you can just take a photo there, and it uploads automatically in like the perfect JPEG format. Oh, okay. And good. 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 And it's just okay. like hooked up to my school account. It's just having the tab open of a Google Drive, and then I can just drag and drop. Okay. So yeah, for, we practiced. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So. That's probably so Jane good. I'm glad you told me that because that's probably why you're doing the Google Drive then because for the people who don't know what I'm talking about it, or do, doesn't know what we're talking about. If you use a um, iPhone, it doesn't save it in the proper formats. It, don't, it saves it as H something. It doesn't save it as JPEG or GIF or whatever they want. And so you have to save it in the right format. But, yeah. it's, but it sounds like there's a workaround. And Jaden, can you tell us real quick again what that is? Only for calculus, not physics. Don't do this for physics. Yeah, so if you go into your settings, you can go to the photos part of it. And if you turn off HDR, it'll save as a, like a JPEG. Gotcha. And you have to turn off live. You have to make sure it's not a live photo either. Okay. All right, so all that was all about calculus. That's not physics. Physics, you're going to be copying and pasting. Type copy and paste. It's much faster, by the way. Did you notice how fast that was to do that? So that, that's, that's one upside. That, that's one upside of the physics that, that will be faster to, to make your answer and copy and paste it than pictures. So that's one upside. So anyway, that's it. I've kind of gone over my time. So I'm going to see you guys then on Thursday. Stay if you have any questions. Though, okay, bye. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. Wait, Mr. Lenfesty? Yes. Christmas. Um. So for Swix, like you can still like drop tests, right? Yep. So we're gonna have our test then Thursday, the last one. And so after that, if you want to send me an email, of which one? If you've done all the Swix at Mastery, yeah, you can then send me an email of which one you want dropped. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank somebody's, you. Somebody's chatting. I don't know how to do that. Oh, uh, Annie. Which email is that? Oh. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Annie's on top of it, so she uh, sent me it. Thank you. All right. Any, uh, you guys, Ethan, you have a question? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was wondering what the final's going to look like. Ah, okay. Yes. Dang it. I forgot to talk about this. Uh, I've already got this. Well, I assume it's approved from Mr. Gender because we had to turn on our plans and he never said it to me that it wasn't okay. I don't plan on having a final because first of all, Friday is your last day with me, really. I mean, actually Thursday is, right? Because we're not going to meet on Monday and that's the day of the test. So my understanding is we don't meet anymore after Monday. And so I don't have time to have, have you take a test. That would just be another hoop to jump through. And he didn't say that I couldn't do that. So I see the, the AP exam on Monday as your final. Having said that, he's already told me that there are some students that might not take it and they're going to do the makeup one. Well, in that case, guess what? The makeup one's much later. You will have a final. So I'm encouraging you to take the test on Monday and then you're done. Okay. All right. Okay. And then also uh, for the cal the calculus one with taking yeah. pictures, was there uh, was there something wrong with just taking taking the exam on the phone? And because then you can just take oh. pictures straight. Okay. Into that. Okay. You should talk to your calculus teacher because they're gonna know better than me. But here's the thing that I would say I'm just guessing here because this is the way I see it for physics is that the problem with the phone is that you're scrolling. You're gonna to have to scroll back and forth to read the problem and then take the picture. Um, so okay. I, I would recommend looking at the problem on your, on your computer, but you can't access the problem on two devices because then they start thinking you're cheating, even though you're not. So I recommend, and I think your calculus teacher is gonna recommend that you access the problem on your computer and it sounds like some calculus teachers are recommending you take the picture with your phone and then you upload that to your computer and then you upload that to the website. Um, I, I think Mr. Shramick has, in my personal opinion, the way I would go with is that he's, he's saying you should take a picture with your computer like this. Just make sure after you take the picture, it's really easy, you should play around with it right now. Uh, but it's really easy then to rotate it and save that rotated version and then upload it. I've given you a link to the demo site. You should practice it. Practice okay. it even for uh, calculus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. Thank you. Yep. See ya. Bye.